Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. We're doing a tutorial on how to download mods for your 7 Days to Die game. I had a few people asking me how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not too hard. Just follow me step by step and it should work perfectly for you. So you want to head over to Google and you want to type in 7 Days to Die Mod Launcher. Okay, hop onto that. And this website here, there will be a link in the description as well if you just want to click directly on the website. You want to go to this website here and obviously you can read everything if you need to if you want to donate to support them they have a donation option as well uh, but yeah you can read through all this if you really want to if you get a bit confused with this tutorial but what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to download the windows version if you have the windows version if you want to use linux then i'm not sure if the installation is different to the windows one i've never done linux before so i'm not sure with that one but this is this is a windows tutorial so you want to click on that and download that. Once that's finished downloading, uh, you then want to extract that to your desktop and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, once that's done, you want to take this folder and put it on your desktop, just extract it here. And then once that's done, it is right over there. That's what it looks like. Uh, you can find this in your downloads folder or wherever you set it to go to. So that's where you can get this from. Uh, once that's done, you click on this folder here, 7 8 9 mod launcher uh windows installer there you go and it basically is already installed when you download it you'd have to actually install anything all you have to do is then click on mod launcher and it will then launch itself uh, by the way guys this is for things like um you know your darkness falls your undead legacy and all those mods a lot of the mods are actually on here but today we're going to be downloading the joke mod uh, i do want to do a video on that in the future so we're going to give that a download uh, I see this is version 3. I was actually using an older version of this, so let's hope nothing's much, nothing much has changed. Uh, you can read through all this. Uh, if you get confused with my tutorial, be sure to read through all this. And if also you still need more help, I suggest joining the Discord. Maybe they have a help section that can help you out and try and explain things a little bit better. But it does really explain everything, so let's just continue with that. Okay, once you've done that, you then want to have to install an overhaul, depending on what you want to do. So you click on that, install an overhaul. And then here are all the mods that are available for you to download in this section here. Uh, so you just pick one that you like. In this case, I'm going to download the joke mod. And then again, you can read through all this. This tells you a little bit about the mod. So if you click on it, it tells you about the mod, which is actually really handy. So if you don't really know what you want, you can kind of get a, a better idea. Uh, and then you're just going to click on stall. Now, I'm going to explain exactly what this is doing, right? So it's going to copy a already existing seven days to die game from your folders and put it somewhere else. And it's going to separate your normal vanilla game with your modded game. That way your vanilla game doesn't get interrupted with your modded game and you don't break anything on that. So that's going to copy a whole new folder somewhere else. So you want to copy from local or if you want to download from steam, you can do that as well. But in this case, I've already got the game installed. There's no reason to download it again. Copy from that. You then want to select where like that and then you say start copy and then it will copy the game from where the original folder is to a new area okay and once that's done you're good to go it is as simple as that i didn't have to do anything. i just clicked a couple of buttons really not complicated the main reason why i did this video is because a lot of people have asked me and it's better to just show a video and show them how to do it it makes it easier for some as well um but yeah that's it uh, once that's done, it, it, it does make a copy of 7 Days to Die and, move, and it moves it to another folder, uh, as well as it does download the mod as well. And all you have to do to play the mod is just come up here and click play. You can update it as well. You can, I think, add modlets. I don't touch around with that stuff. But if you click, click play, it will then go into the game. It'll launch the copied version, not your vanilla version. So that way it doesn't affect anything on your vanilla. You don't have to worry at all about that. That's perfectly intact. As you can see, uh, it is done. I'm in the game. The mod is, is running just fine. I think it does copy your settings from your original game. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. Uh, everything is exactly the way it was. And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope this helped you. Again, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. That does help a lot. Share the video around if someone else needs some help getting it sorted. I know some people like to install their mod manually, but that does cause problems because then you then have to verify your game again to play a, another mod or play vanilla again 
or whatever it is you battle to join servers. This way, the mod launcher makes it much easier. It's a separate game. You don't have to worry about what's going on in the other game as well. So it just makes life a whole lot easier. Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in the next video. I might be doing a video on the joke mod in a bit. So we'll see how, how that goes. I've heard a lot of good things about this mod, so we'll give it a try. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.